every relationship, as much as you want closeness, also requires boundaries. In the desert, the Jews had a flat pack temple structure that they carried around with them and would set it up almost like God's home wherever they were dwelling. We find that there were two words used to describe this portable temple. Sometimes this portable temple is referred to as a mishkan and sometimes it's referred to as a mikdash. And I want to ask, what's the difference between those two words? The word mishkan means a dwelling place and gives us this idea that it was literally like God's home amongst the Jewish people where they could feel close to him. The word mikdash, however, comes from the word kadosh, which although we translate it as holy, really comes from the idea of separation. This is a bit confusing for us because on one hand, the mishkan is a home that indicates closeness, but on the other hand, it's a mikdash, which indicates separation. So how do we understand this seeming contradiction? Rav Dessler explains that every relationship, as much as you want closeness, also requires boundaries. And a relationship that does not have these two ingredients is not a real solid relationship. It's very easy to get caught up in bringing yourself close to people, but it's a lot harder to respect their boundaries. In fact, you'll find that the closer you become with someone, the easier it is to disrespect them and trample all over their boundaries. Like, do you ever have those really, really close friends that make really personal comments about you that deep down they upset you? <laughs> they actually hurt you inside, but they're only saying it because they feel that comfortable with you. They're close friends, and because they think they're close friends with you, they can say things that are hurtful. Our relationship with our parents usually illustrates this point perfectly in terms of what we would actually consider saying to them and how we wouldn't consider saying that to any other person outside on the street. Why? Isn't it because we feel so familiar with them and so close to them that we feel that we can get away with it? When I was younger, my dentist was the family dentist and he'd known me since the age of four. And as I got older, maybe 15, 16, I started becoming responsible for making my own dental appointments. And because he was a family friend, I was really, really lax. I used to cancel appointments, not turn up, thinking, ah, what's he gonna do? He's a family friend. One day, I made, phoned up to make an appointment and the dental receptionist told me that I'd been struck off their books and had to find a new dentist because I'd been cancelling so many appointments. Initially, I was really, really upset. Like, he'd been my dentist for years and I thought, how could he do this to me? He's a family friend, for goodness sake. When I got older, I realised that I was the one in the wrong. I had a feeling of closeness to him, but I did not respect his boundaries. When I was older, I became a teacher and it became very, very useful for me to know this because at the same time as having closeness with people, which is a desirable thing in a classroom, you also need clear boundaries that you're gonna enforce and hope that other people are gonna respect. Only then are you in a true healthy relationship. To anyone who was ever in my classroom, and if I laid down the law on you, please know, it was only coming from the place of wanting to have a healthy relationship with you. One that involved closeness, but boundaries as well. Be great, be a giver. Have closeness, but have boundaries. Shabbat Shalom.